Well, let's talk about some of the potential evidence that the House Republicans have talked about. This $260,000 in wire payments, there was one check for $250,000 and another check for $10,000 uh, from China, uh, Hunter Biden's Chinese business partners, labeled as a personal investment. Despite Hunter's legal team claiming that the money was part of a loan, the beneficiary address for that wire was listed as Joe Biden's Delaware home. And I find this really uh, striking because at the time, Hunter was living in California. So Hunter's living in California, but his Chinese partners decide to send $250,000 to Joe Biden's home. And by the way, this is not like a long time ago. You know, this is 2019. So, you know, in 2019, as Joe Biden is getting ready to run and he's in the middle of his campaign for president, he receives a quarter of a million dollars at his home from Chinese business partners. I asked House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer about the White House's excuse on this, and here's what he told me yesterday on this program. Hunter Biden was living with his dad during COVID. Well, there's two problems with that lie that Ian Sam said. Number one, COVID hadn't happened yet. We were six months away from COVID happening. And number two, Hunter lived in California. And that's according to his own book. At that time, he lived in California. So the wire was sent to Joe Biden's house in Delaware while he was a candidate for president. So at the same time, Andy, the House Ways and Means Committee released an email from an IRS agent writing about a uh, CNN producer who claims to have a Hunter Biden email where Hunter expected his legal stuff, quote unquote, to go away when his father became president, Andy. How uh, is the White House going to, uh, you know, wash away these things? And what is your assessment of those two things in terms of evidence? Well, first, Maria, didn't you and I also expect the case to go away when Joe Biden became president? I mean, who in America didn't expect the case to go away on Hunter when Joe became president? Look, I think the if, if there is an error here, it's that we've indulged or the committees have indulged too much this idea that, you know, there's Hunter Biden's business dealings and we have to figure out what, if anything, Joe Biden knew about them, what connection he may have had to them. And I think that's just the wrong way to look at it. The, way, the right way to look at this is that Joe Biden was the business. There's no business without Joe Biden. He could have shut this down in 10 seconds if he objected to it, and yet it went on for years and years. There's one thing that a lot of Democrats even do wonder about, and that is Hunter Biden, your son, was getting paid a lot of money to serve on the board of a Ukrainian energy company facing serious corruption charges you were the vice president running point on Ukraine. The average Joe hears that and says, that sounds fishy. What's your understanding of what your son was doing for an extraordinary amount of money? I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. I found out he was on the board after he was on the board. And that was it. And there's nobody. Well, you've no had a lot of time. Isn't this something you want to get to the bottom of? No, because I trust my son. But that doesn't pass the smell test. Like when you're vice president, isn't there a higher standard? Don't you need to know? No. What's happening with your family? Don't you need to put down no. some guardrails? Um, um, unless there was something that was, uh, there was something on his face that was wrong. There's nothing on his face that was wrong. So look, if you want to talk about problems, you know, let's talk about Trump's family. I mean, come on, this is. So <laughs> these so, guys are amazing. So you think that everything that happened was kosher? You know, there's not one single bit of evidence. Not one little tiny bit. 